the blood on the pillow alerted her that something was wrong. Five years old, fast asleep. Five, deep, rooted, gut-wrenching pain in a mother's voice. Does it matter to you? It's not, it's not your daughter, right? You probably, you probably don't even know her. So it, it's probably okay. You know, it's just another news item. Will it only matter if and when it's it's your child, your daughter? Is this is this the, the is this what we have come to accept? Is this what we have come to normalize? When will we realize? When will we interrogate this 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 stranglehold that this see and blind, hear and deaf, infirm, and dead that these worldviews have over our nation? Who will be left standing? When will we? decide that those few cannot continue to be allowed to do this to us speak up talk up say what you know if you know it's just too much now speak up and for all those who are alleged to be in the security forces, who are bringing back information. Because that is out there too, and that is part of what is fueling the silence. For all those of you in there who know that you are guilty of that, fire for you. You're wrong. You're wicked. You are part of what is wrong with this country. This is a cry on behalf of that mother and the many others. We cannot continue like this. Speak up. Stop. So let's interrogate our values now, shall we? It seems to me that we are a people filled with inconsistencies. On the one hand, we might say that thieves, we don't like thieves. Especially if we become the victim of a robbery. But at the same time, many of us who say that we don't like thieves see nothing wrong with benefiting tremendously financially and other material ways from illicit activities. I inconsistency. We, 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 we talk about, we raise an outcry about crime and violence, but then at the same time, we same ones push a narrative that does not encourage people to share information we frequently like to say to people you chat too much and then we support the narrative and the the, the voicing of it in music in form of a dead do you realize that these are some of the very things that cause the high crime and violence that that facilitate them the inconsistencies in our values, the ways in which we are quite comfortable with uh, eating our food and cutting corners and getting, getting stuff under the table that benefit us. But we don't realize that by doing that, we ourselves as citizens, we may not be members of a gang. We may not be shuttling weapons or drugs. But we have to interrogate our values. Those are the things that unconsciously get passed on to the next generation. 